What is up everybody? Today I have the Phoebus, Phoebus, Phobosius, Phibus, the fiber, the fibrosis, Eagle Ray Diver. Now, I make light and I'm joking, but the uh, trolls in the comment section are going to toss and turn tonight because I may have incorrectly pronounced the brand name of this watch. And if you're one of those people, just turn it off right now. Go run into a closet, hide. But if you're not one of those people who just does not care about the absolute ridiculousness of me, a human being on the internet making a mistake or just not knowing how to pronounce this octopus brand, you'll stick around. So this is the octopus. <laughs> we're just going to avoid the brand name now through the rest of the video and we're going to make it awkward. This is the octopus logo, Eagle Ray, but now in bronze. So if you check out their website. Uh, I'll have a link in the description below, of course. This is now the bronze version of the stainless steel that I reviewed quite a while, well, I shouldn't say quite a while ago, but I think it was sometime last year. But I will have a link in the description to take you to that full review, all the specs, all the everything, because, well, there's two differences, actually, I should say. The biggest difference, obviously, it's bronze. The other big difference is instead of the Miyota 90, uh, 9015 that was in the stainless steel edition, this now has an SW200 movement, and your price is $420. But your dimensions and everything else stay the same, but now you get this nice bronze case. And so, uh, you know, I, I don't know, I, you know, there's like discussions sometimes on forums and Facebook groups and everything that has the bronze fad died out? That's an interesting question. And by the way, take a look at this. You got that ceramic bezel and then you have that sapphire, but that dial is such like a black glossy liquid dial and then the combination of the ceramic bezel and that sapphire crystal, it just really does create a lot of glare. As you can see, you can see the camera, you can see the microphone, you can see the ceiling light here in the studio, everything like that. But has bronze, oh, I better put this down. I better put this down. Hold on, let me, wait. It also comes with these straps, rubber, leather, black leather. But let me get this down because there was somebody uh, in the last video commented that they couldn't see the watch and they just needed me to oh my god stop touching it dude just stop touching it stop there okay can you see the watch now sir i don't remember your username but um there it is there, there. we'll just give him let's give him a freeze second see a freeze frame for a second here so he could take a look okay enough with the silliness but People talk about the bronze fad. It's been a fad. I've been hearing that bronze is a fad since like 2010. We're in 2019. Now, watch companies still keep making bronze. I keep getting sent bronze watches for review. As far as I could tell, obviously, I don't know what company's numbers are or what's real, like, you know, uh, down to, you know, the, the you know, the itty bitty of it and down to the numbers of it, what is really going on, uh, you know, as much as they're selling. But I would have to imagine that if they weren't selling, they would stop making them and they continue to make different models in bronze over and over and over. And that's not just micro brand companies like this Octopus logo brand, but you know, big companies as well. So I, I think it's about time we stop calling bronze a fad. There are people out there in the watch community, watch collectors, watch enthusiasts, whatever you'd like to call us, watch nerds, whatever. Hashtag, hashtag watch nerds, uh, Instagram, everything like that, where we have all these crazy names for us. Uh, but 
they obviously like the bronze watches. They obviously like the patina that happens to bronze watches and the look that that gives. It's, you know, all, you, you know, every watch will end up being unique depending on where you are and how you wear it and all things like that. But with that said, um, it's bronze is never, I, I like bronze. I like the look, but I can't particularly wear bronze for very long at a time without it. Uh, you know, making my wrist green and because I have an allergy to it. And for somebody like me, when you have a bronze crown like this instead of a stainless steel or titanium crown, uh, it, 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 it doesn't make it much better. So I can literally wear this for like an hour or so at a time and then I got to kind of take it off and uh, watch, uh, excuse me, wash my wrist. We still got the sticker on here, but you can see the Octopus logo of the Octopus logo brand there on the case back. Very nice looking. And this video, in my opinion, is getting a little long uh, for what this is because pretty much the same watch as the original Eagle Ray, only now with an upgrade in movement to the SW200 from Solita and now in bronze. And you can check out their website for more dial variations and colors. Link will be down in below. Octopus brand. You wanna follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You wanna see a loom shot? Wait, wait, you wanna see a loom shot? Hold on, hold on. Here is a look at the loom from the Eagle Ray. From that octopus brand. All right, there was your loom shot. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Hit that notification bell twice. That way you never miss any of our content. And I'll have all the appropriate links down below for you to check out more about this octopus brand Eagle Ray Diver. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you. Do a little Vanna White on the next one.